Hello, and welcome to our final recorded kids' worship with the Congregational Church of Brookfield. Just as we say when we begin worship in our meeting house, remember no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. We are so happy to have you joining us today as we celebrate Baccalaureate Sunday, which is a fancy way of saying that today is the day when we recognize and lift up our high school and college graduates and celebrate their accomplishments and pray for them as they take next steps in life. I do invite you to watch the graduate recognition in our virtual service so you can see these young adults and learn a bit more about where they're headed. During this service, you will actually get to hear from two of them as we listen in on their time for children from our baccalaureate service four years ago. Anna and Eli offered the time for children that day as they were preparing to graduate from high school and now they are college graduates. You might even have a chance to see yourselves in that video too, so look carefully. Just as they have grown and changed, so have you, and we celebrate that. The ways that our little ones become school-aged kids, and then tweens, and teens, and then young adults preparing to use their gifts in the world to serve God and others. Before we get to Eli and Anna's encore time for children, though, we will join together in a call to worship and a prayer. The call to worship comes from Psalm 138 and from the version of that psalm in a book called Prayers Before an Awesome God, the Psalms for Teenagers by a man named David Haas. This psalm is a psalm of thanksgiving, offering thanks to God for always being there for always loving and answering prayers, not always in the way we might most want, but in the way that God knows we need them to be answered. And offering thanks that God has made us who we are, each with unique gifts to offer. And it invites us to always keep praying and singing and sharing our prayers and thanks with God, no matter where we are in life, how old we are, or whatever steps we take on our journeys. So as we come to our call to worship today, I will say the first line and I will invite you to join with me in the response, which is, God is with us everywhere, all the time. So will you join with me now in our responsive call to worship? Give thanks to God who hears us when we pray. God is with us everywhere, all the time. Even when it seems that God is far away, God keeps an eye on everything like a loving parent, never leaving us alone. God is with us everywhere, all the time. God has made us who we are, God's beloved children. God is with us everywhere, all the time. So let us keep praying, singing, and lifting up thanks as we worship God together. God is with us everywhere, all the time. So now will you join with me in a moment of prayer? God of new beginnings and next steps, send your spirit upon us as we worship so that we might be inspired, challenged, and comforted. We pray that you would bless us and guide us as we move into whatever it is that tomorrow holds. And we thank you that you are always present and always sharing your love with us. We know that no matter what age we are, you have given us gifts to use in sharing that love. So we pray that you would help us to live our lives as blessing for others and the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, good morning, guys. Do I get a, do I get a good morning back? Thank you. That makes me feel so good. So I'm Anna, and this is Eli. And like you guys, we have spent a lot of time here. We've been involved in church school, choir, bell choir, confirmation class, youth fellowship, mission trip, and other service projects. And in the middle of all that, we have learned a lot about ourselves and God. So today, right, is another special day in our church because it's called uh, Baccalaureate Sunday. 
And that is the day when we get to recognize our church family members, like me and Anna, who are graduating this year as seniors. Um, so we get to lead the worship, which is why we're up here instead of someone else. Um, <laughs> so this is also the day when we get to share our thoughts and advice with you, our church family, including all of our younger church brothers and sisters like you guys. So we wanted to share a little bit today of, that we have learned about God and CCB. So the most important th thing to me about I've learned about God so far, wow, struggle with that one there, um, is about the fact that God is always there with you all the time. So sometimes, right, we have a bad day, and we're not feeling too great, and it feels like God isn't really there with us, and that maybe he's left us behind or forgotten about us, but it's actually, he's still there with us, and he's caring and watching over us all the time. Now, that's something I keep with me when I'm having a bad day, and it make, I'm feeling bad. And the most important thing that I have learned about God is that his love is unconditional. So we shouldn't be afraid to do things that might seem a little scary, right? That might make us feel like we're not safe or we don't have anyone to catch us if we fall because God is always there. So we should just do the things that we want to do and know that he's there to protect us and to keep us safe. So do those sound like some good lessons to you guys? Yeah? What are some of the things that you guys have learned about God? What have you learned? I learned that um, whenever we're alone and we feel like we're alone, God, but really God is with us even though we don't know he's there. God knows we're important. So good. Does anybody else have anything that they've learned about God? Aww. We got a hug. We got a <laughs> hug happening here, so that's good. Love. <laughs> so other than these things, we love our church because we get to learn things like that, right? But we also know the fact that in our church, we're one big family, and everyone's here, and we all support each other. So that's very important when it comes to learning about God because when you're confused about something or you're struggling with learning something, you've got an entire community of people to come and help you out. So we might be graduating and moving away from home for a little bit, but we cannot wait to come back and talk to you and find out what else you've learned about God. So please keep us posted and we will come and talk to you and try to learn with you. All right, so before you guys head down to church school, will you guys play, pray with us? <laughs> we'll play as well, all right. Dear God, thank you the lessons we learn about you in this place together. And thank you for the many things we learn about ourselves along the journey too. Bless our church that whether we are all together in person or in spirit, you might help us to love one another and to share that love out in the world. Amen. And so now, friends, hear these words of blessing. I know beyond all doubt that God wants us to succeed and will reach out a hand to help us through everything. While some people boast of material things, we brag about our God whose presence and guidance and love are the best gifts we could ever receive. May God keep you safe. May God keep you strong. May God bring out the best in you and be happy with you, remembering what you need, remembering what you hope for as you grow up. Amen. Amen.